How to make ginger ale to reduce pain and inflammation Ginger is extremely popular and versatile and has been used for its taste and health potential for thousands of years. It is rich in essential minerals and vitamins and is known for its anti-inflammatory and pain relief, analgesic, properties, and you can read more about it in my post How to Use Ginger as a Medicine. Ginger has made its way into many products. Ginger beer, for example, is a beverage of choice for many. But why buy commercial soda full of unhealthy ingredients if you can make your own brew at home? Read on to learn about homemade ginger ale, also once called ginger beer, and its health benefits. As I mentioned earlier, ginger is rich in essential minerals and vitamins. It contains potassium and manganese, which makes it so good for the heart and disease prevention. Vitamins A, C, E and the B complex are all found in this great spice. Ginger is known for its anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties, so it's often used to treat inflammation and help with pain. It is particularly effective with muscle and back pain, and also eases period pain. In this post I am going to explain in great detail how to make an anti-inflammatory ginger ale but you can also use ginger to make an anti-inflammatory tea when mixed with turmeric, get the full instructions in my post on how to make anti-inflammatory and pain relief turmeric ginger tea. Ginger has a wide range of health benefits such as It lowers bad cholesterol and blood sugar It reduces fever it relieves nausea. It stimulates blood circulation. It can be used for respiratory conditions and cough. It helps with digestive health. Ginger Ale Recipe, Fermented 8 cups filtered water 1 half cup lemon or lime juice 8 cups filtered water 1 half cup sugar, preferably organic 1 to 2 inch piece of fresh ginger root, minced, you can use more or less depending on your taste. 1 fourth teaspoon sea salt, optional. Preparation Put 3 cups of water, minced ginger, sugar and salt in a saucepan and bring to a boil. Simmer for about 5 minutes. The sugar needs to melt. Add the rest of the water and wait until the mixture cools to room temperature. Add lemon juice and 1 half cup ginger bug. Transfer to a glass jar, stir well and cover with an airtight lid. Leave out for 2 to 3 days, so it gets carbonated and fizzed. If you leave it out for longer, the drink will start becoming alcoholic. Strain and transfer into bottles that you keep in the fridge. Note, it's hard to exactly predict how long the fermentation process will take. It depends on the temperature, the sugar used, and the strength of the culture. The final drink should smell of ginger and also have the specific fermentation slash yeast aroma. Be careful not to leave the brew out for too long as it can over ferment, if the pressure builds up, this can even lead to a mini explosion. The brewing process is very much about trial and error. If you are not completely satisfied with the end result the first time, just learn from it and apply the changes the second time round. The ginger ale does not have any alcoholic content, and as long as you put it in the fridge, when it carbonated, the alcoholic content should not increase. How to make homemade ginger bug for your ale This is the timely part of the process, but it's also very rewarding. First, you need to mix 2 to 3 tablespoons of grated ginger with equal amount of white sugar. Then, add 2 cups of filtered water. Stir well and leave the mixture in a glass jar that is lightly covered, it doesn't need to be in a dark place. For the next 5 days, it might take up to 8 days if the room conditions are not optimal, you stir the mixture daily and add 1 tablespoon of grated ginger and 1 tablespoon of sugar to the mix each time you do this. The mixture is ready when bubbles are forming around the top, it's cloudy and opaque looking, and has a sweet and slightly yeasty smell. Once you make it, the bug can be kept indefinitely as long as you feed it regularly. You can store it in the fridge, where it will become dormant, and you just feed it a tablespoon of ginger and a tablespoon of sugar weekly. Or, you can keep it growing by leaving it out and adding a tablespoon each of minced ginger and sugar daily. 
Now, simply add the ginger bug as an active ingredient to your homemade drink. You can make ginger ale, root beer, and other homemade fermented drinks. Just use 1 fourth cup of ginger bug starter and add it to a quart, 4 cups, of a sweetened herbal or fruity mixture you are using. At this point you can also add 1 fourth cup of water to the ginger bug just to keep enough fluid in the bug. Note, if you notice mold forming on your ginger bug, scrape it off carefully. If it reappears, you'll have to throw the mix away and start anew. Also, if the mixture isn't ready after 8 days, you need to start all over again. If you're making other fermented foods, such as kombucha or sauerkraut, keep the cultures separate to prevent cross-culture. Ginger Ale Recipe, Simple If you feel that the above procedure is too complex and lengthy, there is a shortcut. You can create a tasty ginger ale at home in a much shorter time, but it won't be as powerful and soothing as its fermented counterpart. Ingredients 1 cup ginger, finely chopped. 2 cups filtered water. Sparkling water. Juice of 1 lime or lemon. Honey, preferably raw, organic, you can also use stevia. Preparation Bring water to a boil. Add ginger, reduce heat and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Remove from heat and pour it through a strainer, so you get ginger syrup. Mix 1 part ginger syrup with 3 parts sparkling water. Add some fresh lemon juice and sweeten with honey. Serve with ice. If you are interested to make a natural delicious anti-inflammatory smoothie you can read my post about.